Hello, thanks for checking out this video. Today we are going to be just taking a quick look at the Samsung Series 5 Wi-Fi Chromebook. Uh, just going to give it a little bit of a review for you. Uh, I'm going to put some specs on the screen here so you can take a look at these really quick. Just pause. This is going to be quick, so pause the video if you want to read over them and then it's going to keep going. So now that you've looked at um, some of the specs of the video, uh, you can, you'll notice that the hard drive is really small. Well, you'll see why in a second, why it is that small. Also, um, you know, it's not, there's nothing special about it. The processor doesn't, isn't really, like, super fast. But again, there's a reason for that, which I'm going to get to in just a second. Um, just kind of the, uh, this is it right here. This is the 12.1-inch uh, black Samsung Chromebook Series 5. It's not too heavy. It's pretty light. Uh, you can carry it around really, really quite easily. It, uh, you know, it feels nice. doesn't feel too flimsy. You know, it feels like a nice little laptop, I guess. I like that on the bottom it has the little rubber uh, things right here so that it can't slide around on a smooth surface. Um, upon opening it up, and when you first, when you log into the, the Google Chromebook, it'll have you log in with a, a, a Gmail or a Google account, which is kind of different. But then what happens when you turn it on, instead of, say, like on a, a Windows or a Windows computer or a Macintosh-based computer, you go to like the home screen where you have like your start menu, uh, your icons and stuff like that. This is totally different. So instead of coming to a, a page where you have your menu bar, start menu, like in Windows, and you can go to your programs and see what you have there, go to the, my computer, go to your different folders, uh, it basically opens up into uh, Google Chrome. So if you don't already have Google Chrome installed on your PC or your Mac, do that. And basically, you can see what this is, because this is a laptop computer or net, a netbook or whatever you want to call it. And all it has on it is Google Chrome web browser. So everything you do is basically on the Internet. You can't do anything off of the Internet. I mean, you can, but it's basically like a web browsing computer. That's all it is. Uh, and for $350, you know, it might not be quite what you want. So... Uh, Really, if you want to try it out, just install Google Chrome on your computer, and that's what you're going to get. With everything, it's really the idea of uh, using the cloud, saving your documents to the cloud, videos to the cloud, or whatever it is that you've created. Um, some A downside to this that I found out really quick is I wanted to try out the video camera. It does have a, a video camera up here on top, so you could do some video chatting or whatever. Uh, so I went to go and see if I could do Skype and install Skype on the computer. I went to the Skype's website, and Skype has not yet created a version of their program that works on the Chrome operating system. And it's only for Windows or Mac right now. So you'd have to use probably Google Chat or maybe some other service to do a video chat type of a thing. Uh, the, you know, it's just like browsing the internet. There's nothing special. Yeah, it's, it's a good browser. It's quick enough. It's, it's fine, I guess. Uh, you, right here you can see, um, I'm on my page right here, my most recent uh, visited uh, places, I guess. When you come to the home page, you'll come to this place that looks like uh, this, and you'll have, um, initially it'll probably just be a couple of icons up here. You can go to the uh, Chrome Web Store, which is listed over here, and then you can go and find some applications that you might want and download them. And it's kind of like a, maybe a smartphone or an iPad where it has like these icons, basically, basically um, quick, quick launch icons, so you can click on them and then go to whatever it is. So I went ahead and installed a couple of different things just to try them out, like a calculator or a file manager. Uh, and then, you know, you got your Gmail. I have. Uh, you can also put links up here on the top to uh, places that you really like to go, uh, whether it be your email or YouTube or whatever. Uh, so I thought I'd just, you know, install Dual Jump here. You can click on it. My Wi-Fi connection here isn't that great, so let's see if this actually uh, goes or not. I did click on that, didn't I? Uh, so what it does, it looks like it's taking me to a place where I have to download it. I thought that I already downloaded it, but apparently I didn't download it. The the browser's fine. the internet speed's fine if you have a good Wi-Fi uh, place. Um, the touchpad right here it works all right. I I personally don't like the feel of not having independent buttons. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see that independent buttons on the keyboard. It's basically like one big touchpad. There are buttons that are underneath it. You can't really see them, so you can left click with the button. If you want to right click, you use two fingers and you push down at the same time. You can. Uh, scroll up and down on the internet with using two fingers and going up and down at the same time, which obviously is convenient. There are some uh, buttons they install up here on the top bar that are uh, convenience buttons for internet, like there's an arrow, uh, two arrows over here. Uh, you can go backwards or forward on your web page. There's the brightness buttons right here, uh, volume and whatnot. So it's 
fairly typical. A um, couple other things I thought I'd show you um, on, the, on the side here. You got the a one USB port. On the other side, you have your power, uh, you have your headphone jack. If you open this up right here, we've got one more USB port, and then also there's a port right here next to the USB port. It's really small, so you probably can't see it, but you can uh, hook up an external monitor to it. There, the computer does come with the cable so that you can do that. And then on the front here, there is the uh, place where you can plug in like an SD card. There's a couple different kinds of memory cards you can plug into it right there. Um, that's really pretty much it. It's $350. You know, I, I personally wouldn't buy it because it's basically like having a computer that only runs a web browser. And I'm pretty sure I could go out and find a laptop that has a big hard drive on it that has, uh, you know, what I want on it. In addition to the regular computer, I can just go and install Google Chrome web browser and I would have this in addition to my other laptop. So, uh, you know, it's not really for something that I would buy, but you know, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just really limited in what you can do with it. If you have other questions about the Chromebook, go ahead and uh, post them here and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thanks for checking out my video.